No good can come of this. What has gotten? Have you ever known anything like this? What is going on? Across the river. The animals have lost their senses. My very pig chewed through her fence and plunged into the river. She tried to swim across. Oh, I have seen crows attacking one another. Perhaps this is serious. It is concerning. My raven may see better. Soon in! Who disturbs my century's long slumber? I well deserve this rest. When my husband, chief of the Iceni, died, the Romans broke their promise to us. They took our lands, cattle, crops, our horses, and boats. They defiled my daughters, then me. As I am a fiery temper, with my husband's sword, I hacked through their legions. I burned their camps, Colchester, London, Albanus, desecrated Roman tombs, let flow rivers of Roman blood. But there were too many. Defeated, I drank poison rather than give myself to their sweaty hands. I am Boudicca. words are useful. Stranger, in life I was Cassibalaunus, 
I faced Gaius Caesar, called Julius. A clever man. We Britons had long fought each other, but the sea spew forth Romans in their thousands. I rode to my enemies, the Atribates, the Iceni, the Cantiaci, beseeching each to join together. United, we awaited the legions and their cowardly turtle. Much blood was spilled, battles won and lost. Caesar declared victory and returned to Rome. But note well, stranger, he never came back. Who disturbs my rest? I am Venutius of the Brigantes. Romans came from the sea to parade in their skirts and finery with short, flat swords. My chieftain wife threw in with them. They beguiled her with cloth and gold. She even betrayed Caraticus, gave him to the Romans as a gift. Then she betrayed me. She took my armor-bearer as her lover. So I turned on her Roman patrons. For years I hewed down their foot soldiers and disemboweled their horses. For this, they took my head. Worst luck for them. I have it here. <laughs> Speaking nonsense. 